If you like chocolate, you're gonna love my chocolate muffin recipe. And if you like this video, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe. Hey, you're watching Preppy Kitchen, where I, John Cannell, teach you how to make delicious homemade dishes to share with your family and friends. These muffins will be ready super quick, so let's get started. I'm gonna sift all the dry ingredients together. Sifting is optional, but whenever you're using cocoa powder, it's a good idea because it is always lumpy. One and three quarter cups, 210 grams, all purpose flour. Okay. One teaspoon of baking soda and one and a half teaspoons of baking powder. We want these to be really big fluffy muffins. Three quarters of a teaspoon of salt. I will say if you're using a really fine table salt for this, use half the salt because the smaller the crystals, the more salt you're adding. One cup or 100 grams of sugar, 200 grams, what am I saying? Finally, two thirds of a cup of cocoa powder, 60 grams. We can say goodbye to our scale and sift it out. And you'll see all those big cocoa lumps right now, so it's a good idea to sift. Whisk it up, and then we're gonna set it aside and do the wet ingredients. Now, in a separate large bowl, you're gonna whisk together all the wet ingredients, starting with three quarters of a cup of sour cream. If you want, you could definitely use plain yogurt instead. This gives you a little bit of tang and so much moisture and richness without having to use extra vegetable oil. Two large room temperature eggs. Room temperature ingredients are always best, if possible, when you're making cakes or muffins. They help you get a more even bake. Two teaspoons of vanilla extract. One and two. This recipe is based on one my mom used to make when we were growing up. She loves using sour cream in recipes because of the tang and all that moisture they add, but also because you get to use less oil. It's a very mom thing. Right now we're gonna measure out half a cup of vegetable oil, add that in, and half a cup of milk. I'm using whole milk today. Add that right in there. That's actually it for the wet ingredients. We're gonna whisk this together now until it is nice and smooth. These are gonna be a special treat for the boys after dinner and they're gonna be so excited. They really love muffins. Any kind of muffin, they are all for. Okay, look how beautiful and smooth that looks with just a little bit of whisking. Of course, this recipe is gonna have chocolate chips. You could use milk, semi-sweet, bittersweet, whatever you'd like. And yes, you could even dump a bunch of nuts in here if you want to. Today, I'm using semi-sweet chocolate chips and there's one thing I wanna tell you. It'll be two cups, but you're gonna reserve about a third to half a cup so you can sprinkle them on top. It's gonna be the finishing touch on these and make them look so beautiful. Add the dry to the wet, and one thing I wanna tell you is not to overmix this. It's not gonna be the end of the world, but whenever you're making cakes or muffins, mix until just combined so they're light, fluffy, and melt in your mouth. If you overmix, it's gonna be gummy and dense. So to fold this together with a spatula, just gently mix it in. Once it's almost combined, we can add the chocolate chips. This smells so good. Lachlan and George are gonna lose their little minds. <laughs> right now it's almost combined. I'm gonna add the chocolate chips. That's one cup. This is the second cup, but I'm gonna reserve a handful. There we go. That's for the end. Okay, now fold these in and you're gonna mix until combined. Just letting the batter rest for a couple seconds, you notice that it actually kind of came together much more, so do not overmix. Okay, fold it in. Something about chocolate and sour cream together, it's so nice, like the chocolate with like a little bit of a sour taste, it's heaven. Okay, so line your muffin tin with papers. That oven's at 425, nice and hot, and we're gonna scoop these and fill to the brim. Normally you might fill two thirds of the way, today it's all the way to the top. Scoop it up. I just wanted to check the camera. Scoop it up and try to be neat. Not my forte, don't tell anybody. <laughs> in you go, just like that. We're baking these at a high temperature to begin with, so you get a big rise, big rise nice and high on these muffins. By the by, you could totally freeze the muffins if you want to enjoy some now and enjoy the rest later. It's nice to have an on-demand treat. Get all that batter out of the bowl. There's nothing going to go to waste. <laughs> Finally, we're going to top these with our chocolate chips that we reserved. Just sprinkle them on top. You can be nice and generous with them. These are great with walnuts or pecans. Let me know in the comments what you like to add to your muffins. 
These are ready to go into the oven, 425 for six minutes, then reduce to 350 and bake an additional 14 muffins. 14 muffins, 14 minutes. Okay, in you go. Hey Brian, why do you like these muffins so much? They're not full. <laughs> this one ate the top off. If you've ever watched Seinfeld, you know it's a cardinal sin. If you like this video, check out my muffin playlist. That's amazing. I'll see you in the next video.